But, uh, so what I want to do is go through this problem, how to graph this, and just to double check our work. So the main important thing, guys, remember when we're graphing linear equations, one thing we always look at is if we can write something y equals mx plus b form. right? And that's going to kind of help us. Because remember, a graph has y coordinates and x coordinates. right? Every point on a graph has an x and a y coordinate. Correct? Now, here's kind of where it gets a little confusing, though, because we don't see a y here. I just want you to graph x is greater than negative 5. So there's a couple ways you can look at this. First of all, can this be written in that format? No. So this is not going to really help me out, right? I don't have a y. Um, and I, so I don't really know. I can't really write in that format, so I can't determine what the slope or the y-intercept is. Then the next thing is, let's do a table of values. So this might help me take a look at it to be. So it says x is greater than negative 5. Well, let's just do x equals negative 5. Okay? So if I wanted to write x is equal to negative 5, um, what, is, what is my only value for x? Well, let's do, let's do our table of values for y, because we don't know what y is. So let's do negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So if y equals negative 2, right? remember before you plug in you know, negative 2 in for y and solve for x, or plug in x for solve for y? If negative two equal, if negative, if y is negative two, what is x equal to? Negative five, right? What about if y equals negative one? Negative one. You can't plug in y into this equation. The only thing you know is x is always equal to negative five. Negative five. So do you guys see? No matter what my y value is, x is always going to equal negative five. So it doesn't matter what my y value is. One, two, three, four, five. X always equals negative 5. It doesn't matter what I pick. So what I have in this case is a vertical line. If you guys remember, when we talked about vertical lines, the reason why you can't write it in this format for a couple reasons. One, your slope is undefined. You don't have a slope. Your slope is undefined. And also, remember, remember your y-intercept is when x equals 0, right? In this one, you don't have a y-intercept. There is, it does not cross the y-axis. So you can't put x equals 0. If you put x equals 0, do you get a y equals something? No, you just get a statement. If x equals 0, you get a true or a false, right? And that's it. So you don't have a y-intercept, nor do you have a slope. So to do this, it's just helpful to look at x equals negative 5. That means the value of x equals negative 5. However, we want to graph x is greater than or equal to, or x is greater than negative 5. So the first thing I notice is I can always plug in negative 5. Is negative 5 greater than negative 5? False. Therefore, this is going to be a dashed line. So you're going to have a dashed line. Make sure you put arrows. Some of you are being lazy and not putting arrows. A line is infinite, uh, infinite in, in distance. So now the next thing is we look at this. You could also notice that it's dashed just because it's greater than and not greater than or equal to. right? That's kind of the easier way to look at it. But you can always do a test point. The next thing we do is let's do a test point. And what's the best test point to pick as long as line doesn't go through it? Yes? 0, zero, zero right? But we don't have a 0, 0 in this one because there's no 0 to put in for y. right? So we can only really test the x value of it. But let's pick the point 0, 0. And we just write test. So I test. Um, 0 comma 0. Well, there's no place for me to put 0 for y, so I just put the 0 in for the x. Is 0 greater than negative 5? Yes, it is. So we write true. And remember what we talked about inequalities. If one point to the right of a line is true, that means that point is true. That point's true. All the points to the right are true. Now, rather than showing you every single infinite point, it will take me forever to do that. So we just draw lines to represent all the points to the right of this line represent the solution, meaning all the points to the right are true. OK? Because think about it, all the x values to the right are going to be greater than negative 5, right? Makes sense. So that's how you graph. Any questions? No? Good? Awesome. All right.